Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do a reaction series, a reaction video for a new series. This time is It's Okay to Not Be Okay. So it's a new show sponsored by by Victoria here on Patreon. Uh, she hasn't sponsored the entire series. I think it has 16 episodes. They're like long format type of episodes. Um, and I'm excited. I'm really excited to watch it to enjoy it you know i'm trying honestly i'm trying to expand my universe <laughs> other than just american shows uh so this one comes if i'm not wrong is a korean like drama thing um uh, and i'm not very uh how, how do i say familiar with it but i'm here you know to learn and to get to know more cultures and more diverse the stories um and yeah i'm excited i'm really really excited for it so the first the first episode the title of the first episode is the boy who fed on nightmares is is, is it supposed to be scary i hope not <laughs> uh but yeah i have a 73 percent match meaning that they probably are not gays in this one because when it's like 99% chance of like a match is because they're gays in it. <laughs> anyway, so that's it. We're going to watch it. We're going to enjoy it. We're going to have fun, uh, I bet. Uh, thank you so much to Victoria for sponsoring this one. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you like it. I hope you continue supporting for more. So thumbs up. If you're watching this on YouTube for some reason. I don't know if I have edited this one. Uh, hearts if you're watching on Patreon. As always, Uncut Reaction is always posted for some Patreon. Uh, I'm going to watch it in the original language with English captions. That's how we're going to do it. Uh, that's how Victoria uh, also wants it to be done. So she's sponsored. She gets to decide. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to watch this one. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. And without further ado, let's just begin with... The first episode of It's Okay to Not Be Okay. And really, it, it, it is okay not to be okay. So, here we go. It's not a scary, right? Ah! It's not a scary, right? Oh! Why do you do that? That's the world's response to anyone or anything or that is different, right? Just send him off. Send him off instead of trying to accommodate him or her or them. Send them off. <laughs> No. No. What? <laughs> Oh, ah. She's freaking the fuck out of me. <laughs> okay, apps, hello. Oh. Okay, thank you for the graphics. Well, I like the fact that they didn't actually show us. You have to have a lot of patience to do this. Oh. Okay, you're scared. 
scaring me. <laughs> 어제 반찬도 다 사다 놨잖아. 뭐 하고 있어? 그림. 스케치북 놔두고 또그 여자 동화책에 그리지. 이 여자 아니고 고문영 작가님. 아. 오늘 우리 병원에 온다는데. 뭘? 작가님은 자기 아버지를 왜 그렇게 싫어해요? 야, 걘 집배고 다 싫어해. 왜냐면 <웃음> 좋아. 태생이 그래. 명구역이니까 끄세요 얼른. All these two are gonna fall in love. I know straight people. <laughs> 운명의 뭐 별건가? 이렇게 필요할 때내 앞에 나타나주면? She's rich, isn't she? <웃음> 몇줄안 남았으니까 그거 oh, 마저 no. 듣고 가라. 님, 아빠랑 떨어져 살수 있어? 살고 싶어. 죽기 싫어. 쿨하게 굴지 말고 너 혼자 돼지세요. Okay. Ooh. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> so this happens to her. This happened to her. Oh, so this same thing happened to her. Okay, don't kill him. No! <laughs> What did she do? Oh, he put his hand first. I like her. I like him too, but I like her. <laughs> no, you're the one who's completely <laughs> nuts. I am not completely sure. <laughs> We're in lip gloss. I like that. <laughs> Like her. <laughs> Don't. That's so unfair. Ta, <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to be here for this. Wait, are you guys gonna fall in love? Or no? Yeah, I don't think that's what this is. <laughs> this is Spike's name, Alber Alberto. <laughs> My car's name is Alfredo. <laughs> They're friends. Okay. I what do you mean? It's kinda a lot when you talk to her, isn't it? <laughs> Who is she to you? Your cousin? What is it? What? Oh. Yeah, because the knife was left there. I said Oh, that's actually so beautiful. Oh, I hate butterflies too. Oh. 
<laughs> Me whenever I'm driving. <laughs> but I actually have money to do all of these kind of things, you know? <laughs> okay. I wasn't expecting that. Wait. So the story from the beginning is real. He's the boy who used to follow her. Okay. 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 Okay, guys, so that was the end of episode one, season one, episode one of It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Uh, and I really, you know, I really enjoyed it. Though we are, I am not that used to this type. I mean, other than Gap. Uh, the series which seem a little bit more similar to this but um, other than that you know I'm not very like they do cinema and not only cinema but TV differently than they, you, they do in the US uh, the good thing about it you know is that they do spend more time on the characters and on the conversations and conversations take very long and they are more profound because of it and that's something that as someone who loves tv i mean you know you you get sometimes you get the scenes are like a minute long and like that and then you jump into the next one and there are like i don't know how many scenes in a in a single episode this one it's a little bit extended you know the episodes and that allows you to have multiple scenes but at the same time every single one of them is meaningful and it's you know it gives you so much more than just a simple you know one two you know going back and forth between two characters and then move on so that's the differences that i that i that i see um and and honestly this story is so fascinating because do I un like fully understand what is happening? Not so much. I don't know if it's a language barrier. I don't know if it's um, uh, uh, just because of how the story is construct that I might not understand everything. But I also this is the first episode, so I don't think I'm meant to understand everything on the first episode. So here's what I understood. Uh, oh, Gang Tay. I don't know how to pronounce the names. Okay. So, the there are two brothers. One of them is the oldest one, but he has apparently autism, or for what I can tell, a lot of his his uh, uh, mannerisms and the th the way that he behaves are so of a, 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 a an adult more so than uh, you know uh, with autism, right? Um, and he has a brother who works in a mental institution, uh, but is committed to have his brother integrated into society because he knows that his brother is smart. And if given the time and patience, um, he could be uh, 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 useful in like, you know, a regular member of society with a job and, you know, everything, you know. So uh, the school, I mean, apparently for the last... 10 years he has been in 15 different jobs in different cities because he keeps moving so he can find a place for his brother you know which is very sweet you know to think of because he truly takes takes care of him and is there you know ready to take on his mental health and like he cares about it uh, a lot and he seems to have that you know kind of touch for it in terms of how he handles people with mental illness, you know. Um, his brother is, you know, he has his moments. It's just, you know, it, honestly, it's not... I sometimes, there are, you know, shows that have characters with autism. Mostly they are children, some of them. Some of them are, 
you know, teenagers, and rarely you have adults with autism, right? So I'm really happy and excited to see this type of representation for, for a mom that has a kid with autism. Uh, it's really important for me to 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 see this, you know, and honestly, a little bit heartbreaking to see that, you know, sometimes, you know, the world that you want for your kids is not the one that they're going to get. Uh, it's sad, uh, but realistic, you know, and I appreciate that, you know, for uh, at least from this show. Um, and then we have the story of this uh, co co something, uh, the, the 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 author of the book, right? That is the boy who fed on nightmares. Uh, she is an she, she writes children's books. Um, there are very not your conventional <laughs> books, but very mean meaningful if you actually like read it and like actually pay attention to it. Yes, it might be a little bit weird with the kind of like dark ish tones of like the 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 drawing and all of that, but at the end of it, like there is a meaning to it. You know, it's like. You will go through hard times and and all of that. But, you know, if you don't go through that, you are not going to know happiness either. So don't wish for all the bad things to not happen to you, but rather overcome them, you know. And that is a very meaningful and very powerful thought, you know. And to give children that thought of like, you know, hey, bad things are going to happen in your life. We're not sugarcoating anything, you know. Um, and it's how you overcome it, how you become happy eventually, you know. Or how you are happy. Because it's like this idea that we have of happiness. It's not like you're going to be happy 24-7. You know, that's not how life works, you know. You have to be known that by the end of it, you have to have a sum of your life. And it's rather like the the bad the, the good times overcome the bad and that means that you had a happy life because like you're not gonna be happy 24 7 300 days a, you know 360 day, 65 days a year or 66 whatever that's not how it works you know it's 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 the moments that you have as well you know um but yeah this this woman is like honestly her voice and like her voice is in a in a lower register and like I love it it's so sexy uh and she's like you know but she is kind of quirky as well um you know she keeps this facade of being like you know but she also has this like the similar story that happened to the little girl in this episode she has gone through that as well and because of it she is not in contact with her dad uh, because apparently the dad tried to kill her, so she's like, he's already dead to me. And he's in a mental institution, institution and she over, overcame this. Apparently, I don't think she has, but it seems like that, right? And she has a team of two people that, you know, handle business for her in the publish thing, you know? Um, and... Uh, yeah, she's she's not and like the story that we were told at the beginning is the story of uh it's their story. So that was kind of like I was like, "What?" So it was real. Right? And and it apparently she doesn't have a really good life with the with her parents, you know, her mom apparently is dead, but also not or Maybe, yes, I, I don't know. And the nurse, I don't know what it represents to her. I don't know if it's just a friend or biggest, or maybe a younger sister. And since she's the oldest sister, she's the one who gets to be the guardian and not the other one. I, I don't know. I, that wasn't clear to me. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it out in the next few episodes. But overall... I really liked it. I really liked it. And I don't think I have watched a show that deals with mental illness in this way and also has this quirky side of it. And also it's 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 inspiring at the same time. It's hitting all the right points, to be honest. And I really enjoyed it. So thank you so much, Victoria, for sponsoring this one. Like I said, I really liked it. So thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you guys enjoyed as much as I did. 
Hope you guys continue supporting for more. Thumbs up if you love um, It's Okay to Not Be Okay. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Anka Reaction always on Patreon. I don't know what the hell is going to happen next. But just so you guys know, you're not going to... Probably you're not going to get binges of this show. Why? Because I feel like the story is so complicated that I do need time for it to like sink. We can talk and discuss about it and then move on. You know, I don't want to rush it, honestly, because it feels like it's something that you have to like be aware and be like there, you know? So yeah. Um, anyways, that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I am truly enjoyed this first episode thank you victoria once again and that's it for now thank you for watching thumbs up hearts whatever it is you whatever way you can support it do it and for now that's about it yeah thank you for watching i'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for it's okay to not be okay and yeah remember always remember that it is okay to not be okay that's it i'll see you guys next time Mwah. bye